Today's question comes from Michael, and it's: Does intensive use of WRS also reduce crawl budget for a site? Thank you for your question, Michael. There are a few things that come together here, so let's briefly unpack them before we dive into the details. WRS refers to Web Rendering Service, which is what Googlebot uses to render pages like a browser so that we can index everything in the same way that users would see it. Crawl budget refers to the system that we use to limit the number of requests that we make to a server so that we don't cause problems during our crawling. This isn't something that most sites need to worry about, since Google has no problem crawling enough URLs from most websites. While there's no specific threshold, I'd consider crawl budget a topic that mostly large websites let's say sites with more than a few hundred thousand URLs really have to think about. For crawl budget, our systems automatically determine the maximum number of requests that a server can process over a given period of time. This is done automatically and adjusted over time. As we see that the server starts to slow down or return server errors, we reduce the crawl budget available to our crawl. There's a bit more about crawl budget in a blog post linked in the description if you want to check that out. For rendering, our services need to be able to access embedded content such as JavaScript files, CSS files, images, and videos, as well as server responses from APIs that are used on the pages. We use a lot of caching to try to reduce the number of requests needed to render a page. But in most cases, rendering results in more than just one request, so more than just the HTML file, being made to the server. In short, if you're working on a large site, then reducing the number of embedded resources required to render a page can help with crawling. Of course, doing that usually also makes pages faster for users as well, so you can cover both sides at the same time. I hope you found this video useful and insightful. If there's something else you want to add, or if this video helped you in some way, feel free to comment below.